Hello friends and welcome to my living room. Today we are going to talk about something which might on the surface seem super ordinary, but it changed the look of this room literally overnight. We are going to be talking about how to paint a ceiling. The challenge with this room was that we had moved light fixtures in the ceiling and when we did that, we kind of speckled and mudded where the hole was and then left a giant white blob in the middle of the ceiling. So embarrassing. <laughs> but now, a couple of years later, we decided, okay, we are gonna tackle the blob, we are gonna get rid of it, and we painted the ceiling and the transformation is incredible. I'm gonna walk you through step-by-step step how we transformed our room. to remove all necessary accessories, take artwork and paintings off of the wall, roll back the carpet, push the furniture back into one area of the room, and cover it with some sort of plastic or drop cloth. Step two, apply frog tape. The next step in getting your ceiling ready for painting is to start applying frog tape. You want to apply the frog tape to the very top of the molding where it attaches to the ceiling. Make sure that your frog tape is firmly pressed into place to prevent any paint bleeding. You can also go back and score the tape to make sure that it's held firmly in place. Step three, tape off fixtures. The next thing that you wanna do when you're painting your ceiling after you have prepped the room, and added frog tape around the molding close to the ceiling is you want to look around the room and make sure that all fixtures are taped off using the same process that you use when applying the frog tape next to the molding in the ceiling you want to apply that same process to any fixtures press the tape tightly to ensure that the paint does not bleed through and get onto the light fixtures Step four, check tape. The last thing you wanna do before you start painting is take one more visual look around the room to ensure that there are no gaps in the tape whatsoever. Make sure all tape is pressed securely against the molding and your fixtures to prevent any paint from seeping through and to ensure the best coverage possible. Step five, begin painting. Your room is prepped and ready to go. And now it's the fun part. It's time to start painting your ceiling. You'll need a brush and a roller. Use a brush to cut in to the edges of the room near the corners and the edges of the ceiling. And then use the roller to apply the remainder of the paint. Step six, remove frog tape. After your paint has dried, it's now time to remove your frog tape. Simply start in one corner, grab the end of the tape, and slowly pull it off in one direction. Step seven, put the room back together. You are finished, you did it. You have a beautiful, incredible, brand new ceiling that is freshly painted. Aren't you proud of yourself? Now, all that remains is to put everything right back to where it was before you started painting your room. Congratulations.
I hope you enjoyed the step-by-step -step transformation of this space. And an amazing news, our white blob is completely gone, our ceiling is beautiful, and the room feels like it's ready for summer. Thanks so much for joining me today. If you like this video, I'm going to be trying to put one of these out a week, and I hope that you will subscribe to my YouTube channel so you don't miss any of the decorating tips, projects, or ideas here at Thistlewood Farms.